Hmm, it's the 4th of May. I guess it's time for the obligatory Star Wars video. And since the Star Wars Battlefront 3 Unreal 4 fan creation is not out there yet, we have to cope with an old classic. An old classic that for some reason a lot of people don't know. And if you dislike the prequel trilogy, well, you may still like this game. So for today's topic, Star Wars Republic Commando, a more dark and military style Star Wars game. You are RC-1138, aka Boss, the commanding officer of Delta Squad, a team of elite clone troopers, the so-called Republic Commandos, and later Imperial Commandos. Cloned from the genetic template of the famous Mandalorian bounty hunter Jango Fett, clones selected for the commando program were trained by Mandalorian drill sergeants that were recruited by Jango Fett himself to train them to become the deadliest soldiers of the clone army. So long story short, commandos are just way more badass than regular troopers. You and your squad have to complete missions on Geonosis, Kashyyyk and in space. You will encounter slavers like these Trandoshans, these weird bugs and of course tons of droids. But I won't spoiler you the story. By the way, do you hate these creatures from Geonosis? These bug-like things from episode 2? Well, then this game is specially made for you. This game is certainly one of the more darker Star Wars games. Not only because there's blood and piles of dead clone troopers, but also you can kill unborn bugs from Geonosis. But I let the troopers explain that one. Looks like we're in some sort of Geonosian birthing chamber, gentlemen. Uh, what do you know? They are eggs. Let's give them a wide berth just to be safe. Just when you think they can't get any more disgusting. So onward to the gameplay. Basically you are playing a normal shooter with some tactical squad mechanics and with a Star Wars setting. When the game was announced back in 2005, they praised it as a tactical shooter, but it's not. Not a real one. What can you do? You can assign your squad with specific tasks. For example, there are two options to go through this door. Option 1, a quick hack through the door controls and enter the room quietly. The other one, blast the door and throw in hand grenades. Besides the occasional door breach, you have to place demolition charges, hack terminals or revive your teammates. Because you're the boss, it is also possible to assign these jobs to your troopers as well. You can send your troopers into fire positions, tell them to hold a designated area, charge ahead or form up around you. A quite useful command is to concentrate all fire on a single target. This is extremely useful when encountering bigger enemies, like these super battle droids. By the way, compared to Star Wars Battlefront, these are quite challenging enemies. And what's also surprising about super battle droids in this game? Super battle droids are kind of harder enemies than droidicas. You know, these round things with shield generators. In episode 1 they appear to be incredibly strong, even forcing Jedis to retreat. And last, but not least, the graphics. I guess there's not much to say about this, because it's an old game. It's from 2005 and it runs on a modified version of the Unreal 2 engine. If you can look past the old textures, I'd say it aged quite well. Also the sound design is decent, especially the soundtrack is nice. For usually $9.99 in the Steam store, but currently even cheaper, I'd say it's a good deal. The online multiplayer is dead, but the campaign, even though short, is well playable and interesting to any Star Wars fan who likes clone troopers. Since Star Wars single player campaigns are quite rare these days, I'd go and check it out. Alone against all these droids? <laughs> they don't stand a chance. So that's it for today. Live long and prosper. <laughs> okay, just trolling. See you next time, and may the 4th be with you.